Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. It's Saturday night which means it's craft beer night. The beer we're going for tonight is uh, from Neon Raptor. It's a bit of a clever one. It is a power move and power move is a 6% ABB New England IPA uh, containing some of my favourite hops, Citra and Cashmere. Uh, and it says on the side of the can what it's all about. This is a tropical citrus fruit salad posing as a New England IPA. Uh, we chose the fruitiest hops we could find and blended them with a backbone of oats, wheat and barley for a soft, pillowy mouthfeel. Make this beer your next power move. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I picked this one up in Morrison's on their four for three beer deal. Um, I forget what it was, whatever they were, about 350 a can, something like that. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully it's a good one. Everything I've had from Neon Raptor previously has been. Uh, so fingers crossed this one is too. So without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. So we are pouring into my teku and the pot. Oh, that smells good off the uh, off the opening. The pour is hazy, pale. Good start. Not massively hazy, mind, but hazy enough, nevertheless. So, what have we got? We've got a nice bright orange beer uh, with a really tight, creamy head that is slightly off-white in colour. Looks good. So, there's a sensible amount of haze there. Let's see what it smells like. I'm not lying. It's heavy on the citrus. And it's got that cashmere thing going on. Cashmere, for me, gives gives new carpet vibes, right? And that, I know, is a strange thing to appreciate in a beer, but that's kind of what it is. Um, to my nose, anyway, it does have that. You've got soft lemon. You've got bright, almost creamy orange. You've got soft pineapple. You've got a bit of everything. Everything you expect on the tropical note. Yeah, and there, there is just a tang of acidity on the nose as well, in a good way. You know, that sharpness, so so sink your passion fruit type vibe. It smells really good. So it looks good, smells good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Body's about medium. Carbonation is pillowy. They say pillowy. Yeah, that fits. And the flavour is good. It really is. And I think they've nailed the description. A tropical fruit salad. That's what you've got. Whilst I got the lemon and the orange and the pineapple on the nose with a hint of something sharp like passion fruit, on the flavour, I get melon. I get... I get any sign of bitterness all up front. And that's almost like an underripe stone fruit. Then it goes into sweet, juicy territory where you get your citrus fruits. And it is more towards the, sort of the mandarin orange as opposed to like a, a, like a grapefruit or anything like that. It's really, really quite good. Certainly more bitter than I was expecting for a Nipa, but I appreciate bitterness in a beer. It's one of the things I really look for, and I'm really pleased to find it in this one. And uh, I'm liking it. So the finish is pretty long, pretty juicy. And that's where I get a lot of the melon flavour as well. Just kind of hanging around on your tongue. It's really good. Juicy, sweet, citrusy and melony. Dangerously easy to drink. Really dangerously easy to drink. I like that. Mm. So, we're going to get the Board of Joy and the Red Pen of Judgment ready. And give Power Move some points. So, we're going to start with the looks, and with a New England IPA, I have grown to appreciate them as being ridiculously hazy, 
this one on the pour, as you can see, whilst it is hazy, it's not your thick hop soup that many can be. It's a good looking beer, do not get me wrong, but I expect a fair chunk more haze than we've got there. And uh, on the whole though, I like it. I'm gonna give it the 0.75. That head is phenomenal. Anyway, the aroma, it's medium strength. Lots and lots of citrus fruits going on. Lots of sweet pineapple. Hints of passion fruit, that kind of sharp tangy vibe. It's good. I like it a lot. I'm gonna give it a point. And the body, it's a 6% Nipa. It's about where it should be. Um, medium weight, pillowy carbonation. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be greedy and say I want more body on it, and I, but it's 6%, so I don't expect huge amounts more. I would like more, but it's good for where it is. Uh, so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a point, uh, in fairness. And the flavor, the taste, the most important bit, it ticks the boxes. It is fruity, it is juicy, it is hoppy. I like the flavours. I like the fact that you get a little hint of melon. You get something different in the flavour that you, than you get on the nose. Yeah, it's good. It's everything. I like everything about it. And you get a bit of bitterness as well, which, as I say, for, for a Nipah is a bonus. Um, because they're all generally quite sweet, juicy, and otherwise lacking in bitterness. So yeah, I'm going to give it a point. I like it a lot. And the finish, it's hoppy, it's juicy. And you get the melon on the end as well. Who doesn't love a melon on the end? Uh, I'm going to give it a point. Uh, so, Neon Raps' power move has got 4.75 out of 5 from me, which is a pretty powerful score, uh, in fairness. Uh, bonus points time. Can't have the full bonus because it didn't get a full 5 out of 5. But value for money, yeah. Uh, when you consider you can get it 4 for 3, uh, so you pay, what, less than 3.50 a can, brilliant for the money. Um, huge flavour. It's lovely. Yeah, would I buy it again? Yeah, I think I would actually, um, because I enjoy that slightly bitter edge that this particular Nipah has. I enjoy the disconnect between the aroma and the flavour. It works really, really well. Overall, it's a damn good beer. So yeah, Power Move has got four and three quarters out of five with a bonus point for, well, two bonus points for the measure. So yeah, if you like your Nipahs on the sweet side, uh, with a little bit of kick at the beginning, maybe that's its power move. Maybe that's what they need. Who knows? But yeah, if you like them sweet with a little bit of bitterness up front and beautiful tropical flavours, then power move is a beer for you. And we'll leave it there and say, that has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I will see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.